Hi everyone, in this tutorial video, I'd like to share with you how to use Microsoft Excel app on OneDrive. So before starting, go to Play Store to download and install Excel app. In search box, search for Excel. Then click on download and install. After finishing, click on open. To start a blank workbook, Click on this icon plus button. Then click on blank workbook. So, to start entering your data, double click on cell that where you want to start entering your information. Double click here. Then, for example, I will enter some data that we will work on it. I will enter some quarters and I will enter sales in million dollars for each quarter. Now I entered quarters and I will enter sales for each one. So, click on this keyboard with number, then start entering numbers. This is OK. Now, this is good. And now we will see how to add a currency, date, or how to add percentage. Now for me, we, we are needing for dollar. Now we will see how to add currency for your data. So select all your data, then click on this icon, select home and scroll down to find number format. You click on it and Click on currency. If you are using other currency, click on more samples. For me, I am using dollars, it is okay. And to add date here in this icon click on date and select the type of date that you want to add for percentage click on this icon and it will add the percentage for your data and to add the decimal for your data to increase or decrease your data click in, in one of those now this information are located in number form this ok and now we will see how to use some formula now I will calculate the total of all my sales now here I will enter Click on this keyboard, total, and then I will select the seal where I want to enter my total or my formula. So you can click on this of X or here on this one, or you can click on this icon, then click on uh, select formulas and you have a lot of formulas here and you have to know in which type of formulas is your formula for me i want to calculate the total that means sum and i can find it in auto sum or i can find in math and trig formula then search for sum
then click on it it asks me to select all data so click on first cell then drag selection to include other cells then click on this check mark it is okay now we will see other formulas like max mean for example I, I want to find the max click here in this cell enter the name of your formula then click on cell where we want to add your data then click on fx I want to calculate the max I can't find it in statistics formulas then I search for max yes it is here then you have to select all data now drag selection to include others then click on check marks it is ok and now we will see how to use sort and filter in excel app so select your data then click on this icon and select home and scroll to find sort and filter then click on show filter button and select the type of sort you want to apply to your data this is okay now we saw how to use filter and how to use some formulas and now we will see how to add comments on excel so select the cell where we where you want to add command then select insert and scroll to find command and start entering your commands or start a conversation it is just an example then click on this icon as you see in the cell where I add command it marked now you click on command and it will be shown on your book it is ok and now we will see how to create a chart so we will apply this step on other file it is ok and now in this file we will see how to create a chart a line graph for my data first select all your data then click on this icon and click select insert then click on chart and select the type of chart you want to use for me I want to use a line graph so I click on line graph then select the type of layout you want to apply yes we test the first one I think it is okay so to zoom in or out click and select view then zoom out So you can modify the layout of your data now double click on this then click on layout and select the type of layout you want to to apply for your data example this one
and also you can modify you can add uh, some information in this one by double click on it then you delete this default text and start entering your own text for sales for example double click on it now says in million in million dollar and it is okay so in the uh, second thing we will see how to add a column so to, to do it then and you will apply it in this one so select all your data then click on insert click on chart and click on column then select the type of column you want to apply to your data for me I want to use this one and it is okay so to zoom in or out select view scroll and click on zoom out it is perfect and to modify the title of your graph click double click on this title and enter your own title and also you can modify the layout of your your presentation so in the end uh, i'd like to show you how to add uh, other sheet so click on this screen or on this icon then click on plus and you can also rename your sheet by click for example here it is okay so thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel